Manchester City against Arsenal. A game that could arguably decide who wins the Premier League. City have got a stunning record against Arsenal, winning 12 of their last 14 with an aggregate score of 33-6. We're going to need some of those moments against the Gunners again today. Arsenal, well, technically they've beaten City twice this season, albeit by two incredibly lucky deflected goals in the Community Shield and in the first league game, but they haven't won at the Etihad since 2015. Will that hoodoo come to an end today? It's a huge game for City today. We've only beaten United in the top six this season. We need to get a win against the Gunners today. If you're enjoying the video, smash that like, hit that big red subscribe button down below. Time to get onto the Etihad to sing my voice off as we support the Blues against the Gunners today. Come on, City! Let's get a big win. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beginning of an absolutely pivotal day in the Premier League title race. City take on Arsenal at the Etihad. Now, this time last year, in a couple of weeks last year, we were welcoming Arsenal to the Etihad for another pivotal game. And it ultimately, excuse the win, ultimately started the spiral of Arsenal's downfall uh, in choking the Premier League title, basically. Uh, and Kevin De Bruyne was at the heart of that with an early goal. An early goal today will do us the world of good. We all know how good Arsenal have been this season. We all know how good that Arsenal have dictated games in which they've scored first. We cannot allow them to score first in this game. And surprisingly this year at the Etihad, we've not had a great record against any of the big six. Manchester United, the only team to come here and lose. We've not lost any of them because we've not lost here this season, but draw to Tottenham, Chelsea and Liverpool weren't great. They weren't great, to be honest. We, should, we probably should have uh, won at least two of those, in my opinion. But today, we need nothing but a win. Arsenal could have probably afford to draw. They'll stay above us in the Premier League table. They'll be happy with that. We need nothing more than a win today. But my ginger brother is back. I'm ready to play Arsenal again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time nearly to head into the stadium. I'm very, very nervous for today. But... I don't know what Arsenal are going to do with these so-called injuries when Stones and Walker are out. Our back line's going to be a little bit weak. Hopefully, Akanji is fit, even though he had to return um, from Switzerland international duty early due to a knock or a strain or something like that. It, he has trained, which is good. Uh, De Bruyne is probably going to play, so Madrid on the pitch, that's what we want. Uh, but Saka, Martinelli and Gabriel, all doubts. Obviously, Saka... Uh, returned home from England. Ben White refused to go to make sure that he was fit. And then obviously you've got Gabriel and Martinelli who didn't play a minute for Brazil. So it's going to be interesting to see whether they start today. But I, I have the confidence in our team. Uh, just for me, I wouldn't play Gavardio at left back. I'd play him at centre back alongside Ruben Diaz with John Stones being out. That's a, that's a big, big loss uh, for City because obviously he pushed into that midfield. Uh, but we're going to go in now. We'll get the team news. We'll get... I think my man wants a pie, uh, a pie and a pint. So we will get that and then we'll take it up. Here we go. Then my man yeah. at the City, home of the champions. Yeah. Score prediction for today. Can uh, we beat them? 3-1 City. Kev to get two photos to get one. Kevin, brother with two goals, yeah? Love that, bro. Ellie, my man, at the Etihad, are you ready for this one? Yeah. Have we got a score prediction from you? Um, I reckon 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Uh, double from Frozen and... Oh, I love that. And I reckon one from Odegaard. Maybe one from Odegaard, but we're going to win, right? Yeah. Come on, City! OK, we're in. Time for team news. And, uh, of course, Arsenal playing mind game for theirs, but we'll come back to theirs in a minute. City going with Kovacic. He had a great game against Liverpool. Happy to see him starting in the midfield. Jeremy Doku, obviously, not playing today. Bernardo's going right. Foden left. Haaland up top with a midfield three of Rodri, Kovacic and KDB, my ginger brother, starting, of course. Back line's a little bit depleted. No Walker, no Stones. Stones is on the bench, though. So we've gone with Akanji, Diaz, Gavardio and Ake and Ortega. No Edison in the squad. So hopefully... Ake plays left back and Gavardio, who we signed for to be a centre back, goes in that position for the first time in a City Blue top. Arsenal playing mind games left, right, and centre. No Martinelli, no Saka, no Gabriel. They cry. Two of them play and one of them's on the bench. It's a full Arsenal team with the exception of no Martinelli. He's on the bench. Gabby Jesus is back here at the Etihad to play left wing. Surprise Trossard's not playing there. Or he is and he's going on the right. No, he's not because Havertz is going to go up top. I didn't really look at the Arsenal team well because I'm just sick of their mind games, to be honest, and people saying no to international break, saying no to being called up for their country. It's pretty shameful, to be honest. But anyway, full team for them. They can play mind games all they want. We've got the best manager in the world, and he's ready for you. Here we go. The nerves are jangling, but it's time to welcome out the teams. Come on, City. We need a win. Here we go. Here come the treble winners and the holders of the Club World Cup and the Super Cup. The greatest team in the land, Manchester City. We are here. This is it. A massive game against Arsenal. Three points is needed. Come on, boys! 
Thou the love of my own. I said for me. We're off, three points are needed. Come on, City! Let's have it. We're a minute in, and the left back bit of choice that Pep's gone with is Gavardio, which is what we expected, but it's probably I wanted Ake there because he comfortably dealt with Bakayo Saka last two years, uh, well, last two games against Arsenal last season. Obviously, didn't play in the game, uh, in the first league game. I'm disappointed. We brought Gavardio as a centre back, that's where he should be playing, but hopefully, he can hold his own today. Come on, Erling! God, what a challenge! What a challenge from Saliba. He is very good. Alan versus Saliba is the battle, and the battle that Saliba won in the first game. What a challenge that was. We got a free kick here, but Ginger Pop was over it. Loves an assist or a goal against Arsenal. He steps over the ball. Hopefully, City can find an early goal. This would be a perfect time to score. Kevin in. First one. Headed away the back step from Gabriel. Harlem was in behind him. Very dangerous ball. It's an early goal is important today. The longer that Arsenal hold City off from this first goal, the more that they'll think that they're in the match. So we need an early goal, and that's exactly what we got last year and dictated the whole game. Ball back off, keep it off. De Bruyne has to get it through. Good interception in the end from Saliba. It's been a really cagey start to this game. Arsenal having good sets of spells, but then City win it back and then have spells of their own. I want to say. Oh! Looked like it was going to be put in. It was a little bit of pinball. Loads of blocked bodies, so I couldn't see. Good chance, I think. Last one got a corner. Oh, good chance, they all taken away. They've been strong at corners. Looks like a couple of Arsenal players been out at the back step. Really good from the German goalkeeper. Arsenal coming here on the break with Havertz against that game. Arsenal getting men forward now. Oh, we might be offside, but nice sort of one-two. Oh, it's a nasty one from Havertz. Oh, Taylor. Taylor says he's got the ball, but he's given the foul anyway. Definitely offside from Jesus, but that's a nasty one. That case down, another injury in that back line. It's like we get so many injuries at the moment. So Rico Lewis is coming on, which means that Akanji's going to go centre back. Rico right back. Oh, Walker, Stones, and Ake all out in crunch part of the season. That's massive. Three fouls in about two minutes, and Taylor's still keeping his cards in his pocket. That Gabriel one that was over here on Kevin was a disgraceful challenge, and that's a yellow card as well, in my opinion, because. Kiwi or that's his third one. Taylor's bottle in this game, that's Kiwi or's third foul, that's a yellow card, and that Gabriel one was a straight up blatant booking if I've ever seen one. It's chance of the game and it's come for Arsenal. Down on the right hand side, Rice nice crosses to Kiwi or who lays it back nicely. Jesus goes onto his left foot, poor defending from City, drags it wide, but good chance for the Gunners. Just made an awful mistake. Now we've got back to Rice, that's what Arsenal have been waiting for. Jesus, maybe too much, goes round Rico. Loads of players back there. Offside. He's got his flag on. Got to be more better in that midfield. I think we're just losing that battle at the moment. Need to get round that back four. Bernardo Silva has the capability of doing that. Probably a little dribble back to Diaz. Just need to get that man over to be able to get that cross in. Kanji's going for it now. Flick Tottenham. Not too far away. Interesting half. Nil nil at the break. Taylor's bottled it for me and Foden's just having a word with him there. There should be at least three yellow cards for Arsenal. Time of the Etihad, nil-nil. For me, let's just address the elephant in the room. David Raya, Declan Rice, Kiwior and Gabriel, arguably Declan Rice, but definitely Raya, Kiwior and Gabriel should all be in Taylor's book. And if Kiwior gets that yellow card early from that foul on Kevin De Bruyne, maybe then he can't put the three other challenges in that probably should have got him two yellow cards, arguably. Anyway. Arsenal defence is, is really good and um, it's hard to get past Gabriel and Saliba, both playing well. Benny Blanco's doing his job at right back. Uh, where we're going to break down is Kiwi all, but I just feel now with Nathan Ake going off and Rico Lewis with a little bit of an experience there, I feel we're not as strong on that side as we could have been. It's crazy that Arsenal got one injury last season and it blew the title race completely in the other direction. Now we've got three injuries in our back line. Arsenal should be fancying themselves and they're not really attacked other than the one good chance they had with Jesus uh, doing some quick steps on the edge of the box, taking it on his left foot and dragging it wide. Uh, other than that, City commanded but not really creating any chances. 
the ball was played in. Kovacic has had her as the closest City have come so far. It's a game of cat and mouse, and neither team are really going at it full guns blazing. And if somebody takes hold of this game, they're probably going to win it. Just hopefully it's going to be us. We're kicking towards us now. Hopefully we can get a goal. A goal will really calm the nerves of everyone in the stands. I think everybody, even the away fans, are feeling the nerves at the moment because it is a pivotal game after Liverpool have won. Let's get to the second half. Come on, City. Second half's on the way. We need this. Come on, City. We need a goal. Back to Kovacic. It's it. And he's not far away. It's a good effort. It's always not curling in, I don't think. Well, great effort from Kovacic. Better, a bit more direct, a little bit more play. Good effort from Kovacic. It was always struggling to curl into the net. I think Raya had it covered, but good effort. This game's just taken a bit of a turn, and Arsenal had a really good chance. Finally got Saka in behind. One on one, pulled it across. Havertz just didn't get enough on it. That's a massive chance. Then City up to break. Three fouls, all could have been a yellow, and Taylor's keeping his cards in his pocket again. Not right. We need to be wary. Arsenal are getting these chances now. We need to start creating some of our own. We just got a bit lackluster in that final third, but. Probably because Arsenal's defence is so strong. Hold them back from Kevin. I don't think he's going to get that. They're so quick, aren't they? The two centre halves are Arsenal. It's making it really difficult to get past. Lever and Gabriel so quick. The way to get down this Arsenal defence is going against Kiwi or doubling up on him, getting some overlaps, getting some crosses into Haaland, or Haaland taking out one of the centre halves by just body checking Gabriel to Lever and then hitting the ball in behind like De Bruyne did, uh, like him and De Bruyne did last time Arsenal were here. Oh, it's going to be close. Here for Kevin. Here we are. Does pretty well. Come on, Ginger Brother. Get the corner if you can, and we will. Come on. Better momentum here. Bernardo Silva against Kiwi. Or Kiwi has hauled his own so far, but Bernardo can be the one to break you down easily. Got a lot to do. Too much. Way too much. From Jorginho. Get the other ball back. Harland. Rodri. Oh, a block. Come on, City. Kevin in. Taken away, it's not very, very good at defending and attacking set pieces. City can keep them where they want them, though. De Bruyne are in, and that's just Elf, he's not Elf. had the best of the game, my ginger brother. Jack Grealish and Doku are on, probably a right attacking change from Pep. Bernardo's dropped back into that midfield, so Rodri, De Bruyne, and Bernardo in that midfield with Haaland, Doku, and Grealish. Okay, Foden coming off is a bit of an interesting one, but that's how we're lining up. Half an hour to go, Arsenal captain put in their own box, but they look vulnerable on that left hand side. They look good though when they're attacking down their right, so we're both vulnerable on our left. Who's going to make a difference? Chance here from a ginger brother free kick. Let's see how it's going to be. It's on the money. Great header away, that to be honest, from uh, uh, Kai Havertz. Look from Doku. Oh, the final ball. The final ball again. He's won it back though. Really good challenge. And then a, a, an even better one from Saliba. But then a good one from Rodri. It's just a lack of communication in there at the moment. It's just getting a bit desperate. Here's Grealish. Come on. Nice little ball. Oh, still got so many men back. It's really hard to find a gap. Maybe Bernardo Silva can find it. It's just not going for us at the moment. Come on, De Bruyne. De Bruyne out. He's going to have to turn somewhere. Definitely trying to get it on his left. He has. Cross is deflected. Arsenal so disciplined out there. Everyone in front. Come on, Kev. Come on. Still got a chance here. Come on, Doku, take him on. Nice. No one there, that's a rubbish cross. Oh, Bruyne's in. Oh, that's the ball. Pulls it across. Harlan had a tap in if he was in front of Gabriel, but he didn't. Good chance. Grealish. Can't skip away. Granada Silva. Corner, come on. Corner for City. Catching pass. Oh, my days. Lucky from Raya. And breaks away from Partey. That's a great ball. Not a good first touch though. Oh, and the final finish really is lacking for Jeremy Doku. Really, really bad. I think he's a wonderful player. He's electric. He's so quick. Finishing, not there. Pep will work on it though, but that was a poor effort. Finally, David Ray has been carded. That should have come in like the 20th minute. Joke. He's wasted about five minutes on his own. Ball coming down then to the last ten. A goal will probably win it for either team. Saka's just have to go off for us. And Martinelli's on, who scored against us at the Emirates. But we're looking like maybe we can find the breakthrough. Oh, oh, it's a ball on that left foot. Just, just, just so. Nice ball. Duck. Oh my days. Oh, it will come. It will come. 
just not there. Good little ball for Grealish. Come on, City. I thought when Haaland got that ball, he just got shifted onto his left foot, but the touch just took him a little bit wider than he would have wanted. Drawing his corner. Cavadio's heading it down. Oh, just taken away. What a chance. It's a little bit too tight for Haaland. That's better, though. Give credit to Ray there. He did enough to be able to put Haaland off to it to miss the ball. It looked like maybe if Haaland would have got to it, would he have come for goal? Probably, but there was a man there for the square. That could have been the breakthrough. Clouds in. Takes on his left. Goalkeeper. He's done enough. Ortega's done enough. Looking like his ball is a there. Rico, so first time he's been beaten by Trossard. He's opening up this game with five to go. Come on, Jeremy. Wait for Kev. Comes in. Probably don't shoot. To the Bruyne. Saliba. That's brilliant for Bernardo Silva. Good to fire the ball, but there's Erdogan to put a challenge in him. Anyone step up. De Bruyne is on. Haaland going for it. Pinball and uh, three City players launching themselves at it. Haaland just got a knock there on the head. Very brave. Haaland's down. I don't know how much additional time is going to be added on top of the already time wasting that there's been. There could be 10 minutes here. Plenty of time for City to find a winner. I'm just hoping here. With Liverpool winning, the draw is probably the worst result for us other than a loss, mate. I'll buy you. But a draw and a loss isn't good enough because Arsenal will take the momentum with a draw. Liverpool will be laughing with a draw. And if Arsenal win, then it's not good. So we need to win this game. They've got like five minutes of added time. Are you serious? Grealish. And it comes. There was a pull. I don't think it was enough to warrant a penalty, though. I think it's going to be checked away very quickly. We still carry on the attack, though. Come on. Nice. That's it. That's it. That's what we want. Corner. Come on. Ginger probably going to take a corner. Come on. Get your head on that Harlard. Oh, Kanji. Ducked out of the way. Huge chance. One lads, we fight to the end. Three more minutes. Cool. What can he do? Can he find the final moment? De Bruyne. Harlard. It back across, nobody there. Good defending that from Tommy Asu, that really good. So, hold it on. Let's cut ball that to be fair. One last chance, and that's it. That'll be that. It is that. Nil nil. Can't be separated. It's a better result for Arsenal than it is for us. It's not good enough, in my opinion. Not a loss, but it feels like it. The City players are. Dejected on this side of the pitch and the Arsenal player as well. They're very, very happy with that. And why wouldn't they be after last year's battering? We battered them basically, and uh, these lot are very, very happy with that. Came here for a draw, they got a draw. Leagues in Liverpool's hands though, which is annoying. Prime man of the match today, I thought he was excellent. Getting the ball out the back, started at right back, ended in at centre half. I thought Kanji was excellent today. He was fantastic. But as were the Arsenal boys, Gabriel with his top off there. And Saliba, he was brilliant as well. A bit disappointed, I can't lie. Nil-nil in a game that we had to win. It feels like a loss because of how Arsenal uh, reacted for how they got a nil-nil draw. They're very, very happy with that. But disappointing, I think the defence was excellent. Diaz, Akanji, but Rico Lewis is really good. Coming on in an injured Ake. What's crazy, as I said it at half-time, three of our four main defenders are injured. Stones, Walker and Ake. You took Saliba out of Arsenal last year. That's what happened. I think of Arsenal, they had a full squad today. If Arsenal get one injury, that'll really cost them at the end of the season. And we're still battling away, so there's plenty of positives. The fact that we could probably should have won this game, in my opinion, but a draw on another side of the game is, is a fair result. Neither team did enough to score. Both teams had great defensively, uh, were good defensively. I thought Saliba and uh, Gabriel were excellent. Uh, Ruben, solid game as well for him. I thought he was very good too. I thought the defence was great. Just the attack let us down today. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be the title race. Liverpool are going to be the very happier out of the two. They're now three points clear at the top of the league. Arsenal got some tough away games, but if they can come here and get a draw, they'll be fancying themselves to win those games. Uh, City got a tough run in, but I still back us, always will do. But it's a bit disappointing to have every one of the top, other top five here at the Etihad and to only win one this season. That could cost us guys, it really could. That's it from today, a bit of a snooze fest. It's the first nil nil seen here in about two years. If you haven't enjoyed, smash the like, hit that big red subscribe button. Let me know in the comments who goes on to win the lead. Liverpool and Leo will be very happy. Advantage to them, but don't ever rule us out. Come on City, we're still in there. Have faith in the Blues lads, come on.